got to know and believe in the guys next to you and, and all the rest of your teammates. Welcome to this final game of the 1997 World Series. One thing about that bunch, we all believe in each other. Game seven really turned out to be the classic pitcher's duel. Breaking ball, got him. The payoff. Every pitch, every strike, every out, you know, vitally important. As the Marlins come up in the bottom of the 11th, some memorable extra inning game seven affairs. It's hard for me to believe that there's ever been many sporting events that were better than game seven in 1997. I, I just don't see how that could possibly happen. So now it's Council who carries the run that could win the World Series as he leads away from third. Renneria bats with two out. Everybody in the, in the dugout was saying that this game is over. We got our RBI machine. He's the second place hitter, but he was like our RBI machine when the game was on the line. We've seen that time and time and time again. I think what everybody remembers is that Edgar had like four or five game winning hits that year in, in very similar situations. Here you are, you're playing defense in the, in the seventh game of the World Series in extra innings and going, you know what, just make sure that you block everything, make sure you stay down on the ball. Make sure that you let it all out. You need to dive, dive. It's almost like you're a spectator. You know, I'm on third. If he gets a hit, I can walk home. And if it's an out, it's, it's over, too. As that all played out, I mean, there were so many people in Florida that night that everything was in slow mo. The 0 1 pitch. Yeah. A liner off Nagy's glove into center field. can't describe it because you don't feel it ever. You know, you feel it once in your life. The best way for me to describe it is whatever the best that you felt in your life, that's what it felt like. And when he got that hit, I ran straight to him. I, I, I wanted to go to home plate and congratulate the, the winning run, but I had to go to him because, you know, he's done it so much. We just all got along so well together. Just like you're playing with your brothers. You go out there and you're 25 brothers in the same clubhouse going to the same field. But... You get that 10 minutes where you can just act like a kid and jump on people and hug grown men, you know, just pile on each other and, and high five anybody and everybody. And so it's pure elation. More than I could have ever thought it would be, you know, it was, it was just to, to know that you get to put that ring on your finger and to say that you're a world champion, nobody can take that away from you. The men in teal 